Yeah, they're really, really good. So uh, I was checking out y'all's iTunes the other day and noticed uh, Bruno Mars under what listeners also bought. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about that? He backs us when we back him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we and Bruno also go way back. <laughs> uh, I, I'm down with pop music for the most part. I mean, if that's what it is. Um, I'm not cool with bands who are pop bands in this kind of a scene and play it off as cred and like want to work their way up or like they're anything like more than skin deep pop, but uh, I mean, I like Bruno Mars, I like Pesha artists like that. If it's, if it's pop and it's fancy and it's acknowledged as that, then cool. And if listeners are buying it, I mean, if they like it, cool. I don't care what people like. If, they, if they're supporting us and they want to support Bruno Mars, fine by me. Don't get a problem with it. Yeah, no problem. Some of just market it that way. I mean, if it's pop and it's marketed like pop, it, you know? yeah. if it's not, if it's market, marketed as something else, and then it, it, it is pop, and, you know, that's, that's where the problem comes in for us, I guess. Yeah, that's true. What are you that? So, uh, Christine Band's biggest influences? Mm. Rufio, uh, it's my favorite band of all time. I probably wouldn't start playing these like a guitar uh, if it wasn't for that band. Um, <coughs> um, yeah, uh, Rufio for sure. I grew up on a lot of the Drive Through Records bands, like the movie Life, New Found Glory. Oh, um, yeah, New Found Glory is my favorite band. <laughs> same here, same here, like they're probably one of the one. And uh, I, I really like Saves the Day, The Get Up Kids, um, some of those, like all day great bands and stuff too. Uh, yeah. That was kind of what I guess we grew up for the most part. Jordan's a big Jimmy Eat World fan. Yeah. Uh, our the guitar player. Our drummer's really big every time I die fan. Um, David likes Ron K. Mountain Dew. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so, uh, how would you describe the band's sound to somebody watching that hasn't heard y'all yet? Um, oh man. I'm not good at this. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I say it's pop punk, but it's a really vague term. At the same time, I mean, some people get up in arms about it, and some people just, you know, would say you're wrong no matter what you say about it. Sure. Um, I don't know, it's poppy, it's high energy for the most part, um, not like intentionally abrasive or anything. Just, yeah. you know. I'd say it's pretty much, in, pretty much in the vein of the influences that we like, you know, nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I like to say it's kind of hard to. Uh, pop punk, you go to 99% of people in the world that, you know, outside of the thing we do, like, oh, we're a pop punk band, and they go, we're playing too, or we're yeah. yeah, that's what <laughs> Yeah, like, we, we promote a lot in the malls, like, uh, when we were sleeping in the van, uh, I guess every band knows we go to the malls, and, you know, we take Grandpa around, and we're like, oh, hey, check out a band, whatever, and you listen to three seconds, or that's something like, uh, we're going to you too. Like, yeah. <laughs> sure do. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think that's a question you can really answer. What we do is, uh, whatever band shirt the kids wear, we just say we sound uh, like them, we're trying to get <laughs> Yeah, y'all's, y'all's merch guy did that when I bought the CD. <laughs> so, if you want to say your goals, we'll, you'll love these guys. Yeah, we've done that with Kill Switch and Gage. <laughs> uh, we did that with just whatever we can do to get people to come out. Uh, yeah, we had a good little a girl in, I guess, Louisiana a few years ago compare us to Kill Switch and Gage. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to tell people from now on when they ask <laughs> that question. Just gonna look at the you know, kill switch engage. Yeah. Okay, I'm about to throw out a crazy question, so uh, y'all get anything serious y'all want to talk about before then? Yeah. Um, I hate you. <laughs> I knew this was gonna come out now. On tape, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, I don't know, just uh, we're really proud of the new record that we got coming out. Um, not to, like just shamelessly self promote, but for real, like really, really proud what, of it. What's the name of that one more time? It's called Nature and Nurture, and it's coming out on Little Heart Records. Um, <laughs> again, pre orders are up for it now if anyone wants to get it that way. You get it in August. Um, other than that, it's September 6th. Um, but we've got a lot of touring coming up, like we've yeah. uh, listed in July. Uh, seven, 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 seven. 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 Yeah. And now uh, we've got, we left June 17th, we toured a lot. And, this tour with some homecoming friends called Your Favorite Hero. Uh, Halfway through the month, we met with a band from Virginia called Audio Strobe Light. They're cool guys. We've been doing some more southeast and northeast stuff like Maryland and Jersey. Then we come home for 11 days and we went out on tour with a band called Story is True. Oh, uh, Story is True. Yeah, I'm trying to get them to I come get, play here. I, I got them in Gaston uh, last month. Okay, you want to get them again in August? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> um, We're happy to go out to Coast That's another band we've known a long yeah, time. Our very first tour ever, we met them in New York. Um, like, we did, what, three shows with them, I guess, something like that? Yeah, you uh, can talk about awesome bands, Stoning's True, Caleb Weinhardt, I don't know if you've ever listened to that band. That's a band that we all like a ton. They're from the same area, like, I don't know, at the same area. No, upstate they're New York. still from upstate, yeah. yeah. Check, yeah. they're a great band, so we love those guys. Um, yeah, just, we're going to be touring a lot, and uh, please come to every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thank you guys for listening to the Pop Punk Radio Show. Thanks for having me.
if a free for all of fast food mascots, who do you think would survive? Fast food mascots? Yeah, like. Whatever, 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 whatever. That thing from Jack in the Box. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty dark. I'd be better yeah. for him. Um, what does he work? Burger King's pretty crazy. There's, yeah, but he's got a face kind of. And you say mascot, so that's a core also. Does that include all those things from McDonald's? The fry kids. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if, you've got, if you've got the, fr you've got the fry kids, the fry kids, Ronald McDonald, the hamburger, the, the McNuggets. Yes, yeah. yeah, the slutty right. one. Oh, Grimace. In the dress. <laughs> Bert. No. Who's in Bert. Birdie. No, you know, Birdie was the bird that had the glasses. I said yeah, slutty, yeah. and you said the big bird. <laughs> yeah. um, the girl, you know what birds are? I don't know what girl I'm talking about. Girl from there's a girl, isn't there? Isn't there yeah, a girl? Like yeah. a, it's like some sort of girl mascot monster. This is now. There's the one that likes hamburgers. Hamburglar. Hamburglar. Ronald McDonald. Grimace. What's Grimace? Big, big purple, purple guy. guy. Yeah. That's what you're thinking of, isn't it? I don't know, man. On, on this subject, what is the Grimace? Because everything else is obviously food related. What's the Grimace? He's a smile. <laughs> I don't know, I've always heard that he was a cookie, and maybe I made we, that. I think he was just this. on the cookies. What? <laughs> we debated this. And what is he? I made that up when I was younger because he was on the cookies. Yeah. Well, what is what is the definite? Like you look up grimace. It's a smile, right? Like a like a he, like a smug yeah. smile. I really think that's it. Maybe he is. I don't know. My college degree still, man. I don't know the, the definition for that. Yeah. I guess he's an embodiment of happy energy. <laughs> Just the happy girls personified. So I'd be afraid of him if he was mad enough to fight you. <laughs> I guess. I mean, cartoons, uh, they're all cartoon characters, except for Ronald, yeah. who I've seen everywhere in my life. Uh, so, And I mean, assuming the clown knows real magic, that's a whole other element we've got to consider. Yeah, Burger King has a the little kick that wears the yeah, I'm not, I'm not terribly afraid of the Burger King. Um, he has his own video games, though. Yeah. Mm, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about him. I'm, I'm not talking about the people. I'm talking about way back in the day when it had like the little Team Burger King kids and it had the kid with yeah. the oh, goggles. Oh, uh, kid did. Yeah, screw him. <laughs> yeah, I'd be more afraid of them than I'm the actual king. Uh, Wendy's not a threat to me. No. Does Crystals even have anything? No, not that I know of. You, you know, I don't think they do. They just uh, use everybody else's now, don't they? And kind of like. Uh, make parodies. Yeah. Uh, Crystal should be like a flailing drunk guy. I think Jared from Subway could probably hold his own. Too. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kidding. KFC <laughs> Colonel. He's got military experience. Yeah. He's dead though. That is probably the ghost of. Colonel his dad Sanders looks like Colonel Sanders. Sanders. <laughs> the ghost of Colonel Sanders. I think the ghost of Colonel Sanders is my answer. Yeah. I'm not arguing with that. That's, that's good. The little Chihuahua from Taco Bell ain't gonna do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't miss know. that guy. I miss that's that. a dog. Yeah, but he, he's friends with Godzilla though. I that is true. About that. The whole promotion. But if you're if you're bringing in friends, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, are we teaming up here? Yeah, I'm on no, down. No, hey, uh, like, did any of you guys remember the Godzilla uh, when they did that promotion with the cup holders? That were the Godzilla that wrapped around your cup and it would yeah, go in your car yeah. window. I'm on down one of those at house the other day. Wow. I was like, do you want this? And of course I did. That's reaching back. I was like, but I mean, like if you're, eight. <laughs> you're bringing in friends and pretty much any toy that ever came through each one of them, you could totally put on their side. Yeah. Which was, I guess, I guess Burger King would be. All well, the I think that point they're not really mascots. That's true. I'm just saying, you're going to start tag teaming and we can go anywhere with it, you know? That's true. Burger King had some, had some Dragon Ball Z toys if we got to take it that far. Uh, Darth Vader, uh, in my opinion, was all. <laughs> He's a pretty... I don't know, but McDonald's had Michael Jordan Frisbees when I was a kid, That's which true. that kind of comes to that in my opinion. He's right. So I'm my my answer is Michael Carl Jordan. Okay. Let's go to Carl Sanders. <laughs> they just cut all that other shit. <laughs> Michael Jordan goes to Colonel Sanders. Let me know we want to end on. I think so. I think so. Okay. Sorry if this was awkward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was until the end. Sorry. Thanks a lot, Ryan. You're supposed to say that, 